Hey everyone, it's spring, so that means there's birds in your backyard. Okay, well, there were probably birds in your backyard all winter long, so I guess maybe we should start there. In this lesson, I'm going to go through the common name, the scientific name, and then the sound that each bird makes that you might be hearing in your backyard. Did you know an ornithologist is a person that studies birds? And they can specifically describe birds based on the sound that they make. We're going to look at those species of birds that you may be hearing in your backyard. So one of the most common birds that you've probably noticed in your backyard, especially over the course of winter when many other birds migrate south, is the American crow. On this slide, I have some information from Wikipedia, Zeno Canto, and the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. I'm going to take these slides and put them down in the description of this video on YouTube. You're probably familiar with the noise of the American crow. Another common bird that stays here in wintertime is the blue jay. You may have noticed a pileated woodpecker flying around your backyard. So the sound you're hearing here is their vocalization. You may have also heard the following sound. That sound is the sound of the pileated woodpecker getting his next lunch. Finally, of the winter birds that you may have most probably noticed, is the northern cardinal. The northern cardinal is distinct in its red coloration. The females are more drab in color, but they do have distinguishing marks. and a distinguishing vocalization. Some of the early spring arrivals include the red-winged blackbird. This is one of my first indicators that spring is coming. Typically, even as early as the end of February, we'll start to hear red-winged blackbirds.
you'll notice the male and female colorations are very different. The males being much brighter in color, with the distinguishing red mark on its wings, and the females being more drab in color. The next bird is the eastern bluebird. And again, the males are usually much brighter in color than the females. The next bird you're probably familiar with, the morning dove. And of course the American robin. Our late spring arrivals include the cedar waxwing. This is a species that I oftentimes see while I'm fishing along the river. They'll usually hunker down in larger groups right in the tree. It's really enjoyable to hear the entire group sing to one another. The Baltimore Oriole is known for its bright orange coloration. And finally, the ruby-throated hummingbird. You're probably all familiar with these. Oftentimes, when I was a kid, my mom would hang hummingbird feeders out in their later spring in order for us to observe them. There's a lot of great resources out there for identifying the various bird types. The National Audubon Society has a bird guide that's found in the App Store. You can even download that app right to your device so that then you don't have to have any service while you're out trouncing around the woods trying to identify various species. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology also has some great resources. Again, they can be found on the App Store. There's an app called GoBird that may assist you in identifying specific species to your local area. And then there's various free bird guides.
So now it's your turn. I've embedded this slide in the description below. Feel free to use it as a template. Go outdoors. Take one of the bird guides or one of the bird apps and identify the common bird name for a species that you have observed. Try to include its scientific name. Remember, a scientific name is based on binomial nomenclature. We have two names for that specific species, the genus name and the species name. If you're handwriting, be sure to underline each term separately. Include a picture of your bird species that you've identified. Add some additional information. There's some great websites out there that you can add information from. And then, of course, don't forget the sounds of your bird. You never know when they'll be hiding really well in bushes, and the only thing you can really know about them is the sound that they're making. Unless, of course, you want to sit outdoors for a very long time. So I hope this gets you excited to go outside and do some exploring. Best of luck to you, and make sure to share this template with everyone else so that then they can do the exact same thing. And I would love to see the birds that you identify in your backyard.